Excuse me. Hi. Hi. I'm looking for Lori. I don't know anyone named Lori. Lori's not a real name. Lori's not a real name? Actually, Lori is a real name. The name you know her by is not a real name. I saw her with you the other night. Oh, yeah, I remember you. Ah, more good news for Toby. What? Nothing. Could you tell me where she is? She's in the back. Thank you. She's busy. Only take a sec. Hong Kong. That place has really gone downhill since they changed chefs. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi. Look at this. I come in for a drink and here you are. How about that? How you doing? Hi. This is... Sam Seaborn. From the White House. Yes, sir. Sam. I hope you don't mind my barging in like this. It's just that I've known this girl my whole life. How do you know Brittany? Who's Brittany? I am. Okay. Sam, we're in the middle of something here. No problem. I don't mean to interrupt. I'll just go back to the bar and call my friend, the Assistant U.S. Attorney General, and see if he wants to come down and meet for a drink with me and that woman back there. Excuse me. Good to see you. Okay. Lori! Called you four times. Are you ever going to call me back? Stay away from me. Lori. I can't believe you just did that. I came here in and the spirit I left my coat at the table. I can't go back there. If I cost you some money, I'll write you a check. You go to hell for saying that. I wasn't... I'm sorry, that was the wrong thing to say. Yes! You're going to freeze out here. I don't Take care. my coat. No. Come on. Give it to me. I can't believe you said that in there. I backed away from you so quietly, Sam. You know I did. I never would have caused any trouble. And then you come in and you brandish this. By the way, mm -hmm. the Attorney General has no jurisdiction here. I break the law in the district. I break the law in Maryland. And from time to time, I break the law in Pennsylvania. In my life, I have never committed a federal crime, which is more than I can say for some people in your line of work. You're absolutely right about that. Cab. So I had a pretty good day. Congratulations. I feel like more and more I'm playing a role in policy discussion. And then today... Why I did was... you come and find me tonight? What? Why did you call me four times and then come and find me? Just to tell you I had a pretty good day. I don't need savings, Sam. Yeah, you do. Are you aware that I make more money than you do? You know any kid with a decent paper rep. And you understand that I wasn't abused as a child, that I like what I do? Really? That is putting me through law school? Well, I wouldn't knock yourself out in torts, because there isn't a state bar in this country that's going to admit you with a solicitation bust on your record. I don't plan on getting busted. As opposed to the other people who do? Sam. And i got to tell you, I think you look terrific tonight. Thank you. And I'm not just saying that because I want my coat back. You're going to try and change me, arguing, asserting a position every time I I'm turn around. I'm a lawyer around. and a speechwriter. I argue for a living. And I'm sought after, because I'm very good at it. You humiliated me back there. And you scared me. You understand that? Yeah. And? I guess that's just the way it goes. That's not good enough. It's gonna have to be. Why? Because I've decided to become a good friend of yours. Oh, uh, am I supposed to just strip down for you now? No. Really? Really. So, what are we supposed to do? I don't know, but whatever it is, could we do it indoors because I'm from Southern California? Yes. Good. You want to buy me a drink? I have to say, that sounds very professional to me. Shut up. Okay. So, you're going to reveal state secrets? To be honest with you, I don't even know what the state secrets are. Now he tells me. I can recite the members of Congress in alphabetical order. Ooh, gee, Sam, Alvin, do the girls stay on their feet with you? And I got some pattern.